The typical radio problem. God damn. <laughs> I should just. This thing is situated. You can see the nice instructions that literally do nothing. So. guys today we have two mustangs in the yard this is not knowing i need one thing it is a 2.3 liter eco boost turbo mustang we all, we all know how you guys feel about that but this mustang is here for a problem that every single ford owner happens after i guess i think after like a hundred thousand miles or something i gotta i gotta refresh on that one but the typical radio problem so my boy Roy this is his car he hasn't had a radio in about I don't know a month or so trying to figure out diagnose a problem and we stumbled upon basically it's a software issue and basically there's like a black box behind the radio and it needs to be changed and if you change it you got to get it code coded to your VIN number so you got to get the Ford pay all types of fees so today we're just gonna gonna bypass all of that and we're going to install a nice android aftermarket head unit so this is it i'll get this thing unboxed here all right this is roy yes sir and he's about to unbox his own shit here because yes, he's just gonna start unboxing people's stuff Nah, nah, we ain't repping these niggas. I'm crying. All right, look at yeah. that. You can see you open it upside Wait, down here. You yeah, I did some dope <laughs> shit. I ain't gonna lie. It revealed. Oh yeah, bunch of pieces on there. Wow, that looks nice. Yeah, it does. That looks very nice. Like the iPad. Bro. It's like a Tesla screen, right? It does. Oh wow. I hope that shit come out good, bro. That shit. That shit <laughs> it's going too wrong. I came, came to the goat to do this, bro. <laughs> came to the goat. <laughs> Oh man. Alright, so dog, what else you got here? That's that Apple dongle thing. Okay, okay. okay. That looks like the little extra box for your rate um the I guess like the evap controls and whatnot. We'll figure all that out after. Rear view camera. I'll try and find a way to make it work with your OEM rear view camera. And then here we have like a plug and play harness and a bunch of other stuff. So couple instructions and that's about it. Go ahead and get started. All right, guys. So to start this now, we have to start popping off all of the trims. So we have to pop off this, move our way over here, and then after that, we have about two bolts right under here. You can see those two, and then pop off these side panels, and then there's two more bolts on each side. I believe they're all. 930 seconds yep all 930 seconds so i'm gonna get started on that and then get you back to you when i'm done guys now we officially have the radio out after from what i said before you have two more bolts in this area oops turn that on and then obviously you see we popped up this panel because 
definitely with these little tabs at the end it would not allow you to remove the radio up so after i remove this on the console i actually had to turn the car on and put it in neutral to bring the stick back to get enough space so we can pull out this tray that i said we had two bolts at the bottom for and yeah it's, i don't know it's, it's like a lot of work to get this thing out but it's out now and keep pressing this on button <laughs> So it's out now, so let's go ahead and start unplugging it. We have one large plug here. Go ahead and unplug that. We have another one here. This one we're gonna have to lean over to see how it works, but it's not too bad. We also have our start switch. This one is in this corner right here. And then I will cigarette light a switch. So let's go ahead and remove all of those and I'm install this radio. All right, so after struggling for a while, the clips are actually reverse. It's funny. This is easy, this is easy. This one, you actually have to pry the two tabs up. That's the start button here. You actually have to pry the two tabs up. And this one, you had to stick something in this hole right here to pull it out so not as simple as it was as i as it made it seem but actually very hard so now we have our four connectors here make sure you don't lose these pretty sure i don't know we're probably not using this but we'll see after we install it so now we have to uninstall the cd changer and remove the screen here so there's four bolts here started removing two already and then another four bolts for the cd changer all right so to remove this clip now all you gotta do is push down on this tab and swing this arm up boom that's how you remove the screen all right guys so i'm just gonna put this on record just in case if anybody else have the same problems trying to take out the actual radio because this is the actual radio this piece right here trying to pull it out the wires were stuck behind this tab right here so i try to pull it as much forward as i can and basically snake my hand back here to push on this tab click push on this tab click and then radio came out more gave me enough space to remove this last tab which is another thing you just push on the top click boom so this looks like the radio antenna and then to just radio accessories, probably like, you know, speakers and whatnot. Just constant red looks like power all the time. So that's about that for the radio. If you guys are wondering what the problem, if you guys have the same problem with the radio not working, could just be, it's like a fault in the radio or whatever. Or a lot of the times it's this black box right here the FOMO C FOMO Co <laughs> so this you would have to take out give it to Ford well buy a new one then give that to Ford and have them reprogram that and that would basically you know solve whatever problems with the radio I believe you're having I've seen it I've seen it online I read it don't 100% know if that's true but I believe that's the black box that's the problem because it is a software issue, it's not really a hardware issue because when you push the radio button, it basically, the screen glitches and then I should have showed you guys before, but the screen glitches and it doesn't want to turn on any radio or nothing, no sounds at all or anything. So I believe that's the culprit right there. But we're going to bypass this entire thing and just say forget it and install our Tesla radio. So now we can get to installing all right so now we have this radio looking piece and a bag full of wires this looks like the main harness adapter so we can just put that one over there it looks pretty simple this one looks like your gps so we'll just glue it to the top or we'll glue it to this black box right here but i don't think you'd be using the gps anyway but to get a good signal, you would want to glue it to the top half of your dashboard or on the exterior, but it's not a pretty piece. So I'll probably just leave that to him. I'll ask him if he wants that installed. 
this is obd2 port dongle this is pretty cool so cool thing about this this actually gives you your information about the car and i believe your tire pressures and stuff like that but basically gives you information about the car but we opted for the wireless version it's in the box i'll get that for you we get down the line i'll show you that's pretty cool rear video conversion box oh, so i guess that's for the camera what is this a bunch more wires all these are labeled but and i don't know all right guys i'm just gonna go through the ones that's necessarily needed and get back to you guys all right guys now i more or less have this thing situated you can see there's a nice instructions that literally do nothing so so I had to go off my prior knowledge, but if you guys wanted anything, any kind of help, this is basically what you need plugged in. This one, not so much. This one is like, if you want like auxiliary stuff, so I just plug it in just in case if you wanted it. But the video input, this is exactly what you need, I guess, to get the factory uh, backup camera. If you have one on this Mustang going, this plugs into that plug up there i believe i haven't got there yet but after that it's just this little plug plug in the camera i hope that's the right one because so that's about all you most likely need also screwed in this antenna which is weak because i guess asia i guess so that's about that for this they came with one long white cable that plugs in straight here it connects both from the screen to this radio box i'll show you what we have to do after that but over here i plugged in the adapter harness you can see it's just two the two big black ones plug in here and then this one goes into this one obviously and uh, i guess for this harness also came with an output for the obd2 cable so boom we have this this plugs into your car simple as that we have also have aux in and aux out i don't really know what those do yet but i'll figure that out along the line this four prong plugs into the back of the radio right in that number two slot right there and basically that oh yeah the adapter for your radio i believe this is the radio so it's a plug and play adapter that you plug in from here turns it into this this plugs into the back of the radio right there what else that's really about the it's really about that um next thing on the agenda is to look at the radio itself so you can see, well, look at the radio screen itself. You see we have one big one and one small connector. Those are the two connectors that we didn't use so far. These two. Don't mind this one. Just these, what is that, USB? Yeah. A lot of these things you don't really, I don't understand. Because they don't come with adapters for or they're just not labeled properly. So it's more or less... I'm gonna go along as I go and you guys will learn off of my mistakes. So these two plug into the back of the radio screen over there. This USB plugs directly in the same the same way at the back of this OEM radio. And then that being said, on the other side with the cigarette lighter, see how we had a fight to get that one out. Well, now we have to take it off of this and install it back on this new radio screen here. So that's all about that. I'm going to pop this off and put this on and then start to move and install everything back here. Start it up and see what happens. Also, I forgot about their rear video conversion box. This also plugs into this harness, which plugs into that. Right, so now the problem side of things, that's like I said, these two plug into the back of the screen, but this box just stays floating. That's very, very weird. Don't know where this would plug in or bolt in. Obviously, you can't bolt in that way because this plug is on the front face. 
So there's no screws or instruction provided saying where this should go. So we're just going to tuck it in nicely, I guess, on this soft sheet over here around these wires. And I guess hope for the best, right? We'll see. Now, let's get to the install. see we plug this in now it's starting to light up a little bit so that's pretty cool we have to plug in this obd2 port that i ran all the way in through here run it out to the back side of the radio i'm gonna zip tie this up once we tie this up everything as we're done go ahead and plug this one in here right up in there boom now this is just lightly situated for now but you see i kind of made it clean in here there's a box inside a tough stuck up in here now i'll be zip tying everything very nicely but all the wires hide nicely didn't think i didn't, the only thing i didn't plug in yet was the usb or the cigarette lighter yet that's more or less when i'm finished because those two they're just not that important but i really wish there was a way of mounting this thing i don't like the way it just sits in here like that Granted, it's not gonna go anywhere, but you know. So, let's go ahead, get our first start out. Oops. Oh, wow, look at that. That is nice. That is nice. And we have sound. We have sound. Look at that. Everything I did was actually correct. All right, cool. Let's, let's turn this off. Let's not show the owner yet. How do I go back? Oh, wow. Hazard buttons and all that stuff. Now you get all this. Wow. Got a bunch of molds and whatnot. All right. I have the screen more or less pushed up in here, situated. Everything is nice and tucked in there. USB is in. Cigarette lighter is in, and where did I put? Just pop off this little tab. You can still see the bolt holes are still there, and then on the top, we're gonna go ahead and put those bolt holes in. Okay, so we're going to end up with a bunch of extra screws, guys, because literally the radio and everything back there doesn't screw in, and we only have two here and two there, and whatever extra tabs we have. So. Just go ahead and put these screws in and see what we're left with. Wow. 
the climate control and all that shit. That's for the radio. Yeah, go to the radio. Everything is plugged in. Should be good. I turned it on. I should it. But maybe it's on your stands. Oh yeah. You could do all that. There you yeah. go. Oh yeah. This there is the goat, go. bro. Connect the ox. Connect the ox. Connect the ox. Yeah, you got Bluetooth your phone now. Pass my phone, bro. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it right there. Watch it right there. Watch it right there. Mad hype. He said, pass my phone right there. Right right no, bro, this is moment of truth right here, bro. Like, I haven't literally listened to a song in three months, bro. You haven't had a radio in, in three months. Four months. In four months. That's crazy. Four months, bro. That's enough to make people crazy, you understand? No, bro, I, no I thought, I've been thinking about life. life. <laughs> thinking about talk, life while driving. <laughs> oh my gosh. Listen to your thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Voices in my head, bro. Alright, he's gonna Bluetooth his phone. And yeah. Oh yeah, put it in reverse. See? Oh, that's fine. So you, you didn't even need to buy this. You didn't even need to buy this. I didn't even buy that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> they came with the adapter, so. Yeah. That was like $10, but still, that motherfuckers bought it. Too, <laughs> oh, man. But there you go. You got Appreciate everything. You, dog, for real. All right, another happy customer. Let me see that screen again, bro. We see that screen again. Look at this little bullshit, man. <laughs> Look at this little shit, man. Thanks that to the GOAT, man. To that. Oh, Thanks to the GOAT, man. man. All right, guys. Well, that's about it for this video. And all of these things work. They're actually buttons. You gotta like, you hear the click up. So, interesting. That's about that, guys. All the steering wheel controls and everything work. Bluetooth, everything. And uh, yeah, so this thing is really, really cool. I mean, honestly, let's just go back home here. He was Bluetooth and his music first, and then. See if we can go through the settings, I guess. I don't even know how to, how to work this. I'm just pushing random things right now. Oh, that's night mode. That's night mode. Cool. Turn it back on. Turn it off. That's the brightness. That's your climate control. Off. Get that back up there. Now, I guess we just got to find the settings. Find the settings and uh, put on the Wi-Fi. It looks like you, you could do Wi-Fi on this thing. Wow. This thing is cool. I might just buy a Mustang so I can get this thing. All right, guys, that's about that. Forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And don't forget, never stop modifying.